What's up, Frida? My name is Dusty Mike. So today I got asked a question about daily vlogging. Shut up, phone. Come on now. So today I got asked a question about daily vlogging and how I keep up with it, how I'm able to actually edit it quickly and not spend my whole entire day editing and try and figure out the most efficient way to vlog. Well, I've been vlogging for maybe five years, roughly. I've been vlogging on this channel for a year now, so I've had some time to kind of uh, perfect my vlogging technique and make it as easy and strenuousless as possible. Is that a word? Strenuous? Let's, let's, I doubt it. But anyways, guys, here's the question. So I'm trying out daily vlogging. I've made templates, but how do you store the footage and rendering, exporting, and keeping the final video, then deleting the raw footage? Should I be reusing the same timeline with the new footage? Help, please. So guys, here is what I do. What I did, I went ahead and built a template for my vlog channel. So here you have my edited vlog for today. You can see I have the color correction layer, my intro with intro music and outro, so on and so forth. Over here I have three folders. I have all the stuff that make up the vlog, my vlog clips, which are all the stuff that I record throughout the day, and my music that I use royalty free for whenever I need it. Let's say I started out a new day and I'm ready to edit a new day. So what I'll do is go to vlog clips, click delete. Now I only have my color correction layer, my outro, and my intro. So now we're gonna go ahead and import in my new vlog footage. So we're gonna go to my YouTube folder, go to the vlogs, and here is today. I set up my camera so it makes a new folder every single day. A lot of Canon cameras have this option, a lot of other cameras might as well, and it just helps you organize a little bit more and helps <laughs> divide it up when you're doing daily vlogs. So click import folder, and it's gonna import all your clips in here. So here's what I do. Highlight all your clips, go to the top, drag it in, click control, and that means it's gonna push everything down. Let go, and we're gonna click delete to snap it all down. So now once it's all snapped together, you can see all the clips are there. We have the outro, we have the intro, and so on and so forth. Here at the beginning, they have an empty slot because I like to do one funny little clip beforehand. So what I'll do is once I'm finished editing, I'll actually drag the funniest part in here to keep it kind of entertaining throughout. So now what I will do is simply watch the video and cut out all the bad parts that I don't want and then drag out the color correction so it drags over top of all of it. And now it's time for the outro. So the outro is pre-built. I have my last video, my Freedom Tip video and Britney's channel. So to change this, it's actually really simple. What you do is right click the last video, click Reveal in Project, and it's gonna open it up over here. Right click, click Replace Footage, and then go to where you store your video files. So here are all my vlogs. I keep this on an external hard drive. So I'll click this, and now here, as you can see, it updates already. Now it's done, or at least that part is. So basically guys, the idea with this is whenever you're setting up your templates, whether it's daily vlogs or daily videos or whatever, you just kind of replace the files on the timeline and change it so it updates on your template without ever having to resync stuff up and replace everything. And it just makes for a lot faster edit and it saves that strenuous time of resizing stuff, scaling it down, moving it around. And then lastly, I export the video. Now I have a separate vlog hard drive where I keep all my daily vlogs. You could do this with your game videos or vlogs or whatever you want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click Q to open up the media encoder and run that so it finishes out and renders it in there. So as for the actual vlog clips, I don't keep them forever. I just keep them backed up for a few days and if I need to redo something or change something, then I'll do it. And then I also cut out the good clips that I might need to keep for future videos or whatever. I save those in like a funny folder. But as far as the rest of the stuff, I'll delete those. But I only keep the ones that I really think will benefit to me in the future. But anyways, that is my main template workflow when I'm doing my daily vlogs. I know this is kind of long and drug out, but this is what I go through to do my daily video. And I do this with the game videos, I do this with freedom videos, I do this with everything because it just makes things so much easier because as you can see, that took me five minutes to edit. Now, obviously, I need to go through and watch and cut out the dull parts, which will take maybe another half hour or so. But a half hour to edit a video is not bad at all. So anyways, guys, I hope this helped. If you have other questions like this, feel free to ask in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer it. I don't know everything, but what I do know, I'd be more than happy to share with you guys. So anyways, guys, that's it, and we will see you next time. See ya.